In this video we're going to discuss MPLS or multi-protocol label switching. So again tracing to the loopback of PE2 we can see the labels. Let's trace to the loopback of P3 which is this router here. Notice in this case label 17 was used on this link, label 17 was used on this link, the label was popped on this link because of the implicit null or PHP and it was sent as a ethernet frame. We could see that by looking at the Wireshark capture. I'll use a source of loopback zero and notice in the output 4.4.4.4 going to 3.3.3 .3. there are no MPLS labels used on this link here but they would be used on this link. So this is the Wireshark capture and you can see 4 to 3 is using label 17 which is determined by the MPLS forwarding table on P2. You can see the label used is label 17. So this is the thing to note when PE1 sends traffic to PE2 so from loopback to loopback as an example a label is used here the label is swapped without referring to the IP routing table and sent over here. It's swapped here and it's only here where the IP routing table is used. Previously before I enabled MPLS I did a trace from CE1 to CE3 and the trace looked as follows. Notice we don't see any labels and we see every hop along the path. What I'll do now is do the trace again and notice what we see. IP is used from CE1 to PE1, then MPLS is used from PE1 to P2, label used is 26, MPLS is used between P2 and P1 using label 26, label 26 is used here, penultimate hop popping is used on P3, and an IP packet is sent to PE2 and an IP packet is sent to CE3. Now the MPLS network stops at PE2, so penultimate hop popping is done by P3. The customer routers are unaware of MPLS, but in this case they still see every hop along the path. Now to hide the labels on the PE router, PE1, the ingress router to the MPLS cloud, we can use the command MPLS IP propagate TTL enter that is the default but in this case I want to disable that so I'm going to use a no MPLS IP propagate TTL and when we do the trace now notice the difference the customer router is only seeing PE1 PE2 and the destination router it sees a hop here, a hop here, and a hop here. The entire core network is hidden. So the three P routers are hidden in the trace. So there's the trace again. The core routers are hidden. That's something that a service provider is going to want to enable. By using MPLS and the hiding of TTLs, the customer can't see the core network. MPLS labels are used throughout the core and that's hidden from the customer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.